Hi. Welcome to Evasion and E-Traffic Control. Keep educating yourself series. This lecture is about minimum sector altitudes. Minimum sector altitude shall be established for each aerodrome where instrument approach procedures have been established. Each minimum sector altitude shall be calculated by taking the highest elevation in the sector concerned, adding a clearance of at least 1000 feet and rounding the resulting value up to the next higher 100 feet increment as appropriate. A minimum altitude shall apply within a radius of 25 nautical mile of the homing facility on which the instrument approach is based. The minimum obstacle clearance when flying over mountainous area should be increased by as much as 1000 feet. Obstacles within a buffer zone of 5 nautical mile around the boundaries of any given sector shall be considered as well. If such obstacles are higher than the highest obstacle within the sector, then minimum sector altitude shall be calculated by taking the highest elevation in the buffer area concern, adding a clearance of at least 1000 feet and rounding the result value up to next nearest up 1000, 100 feet. The sector should normally coincide with the quadrants of the compass. However, when uh, topographical or other conditions make it desirable, the boundaries of the sectors may be chosen to obtain the most favorable minimum sector altitude. In sectors centered on a VR DME or NDB DME, it is possible to define an additional boundary based on DME arc within a sector, dividing the sector into two subsectors with the lower MSA in the inner area. The DME arc radius, capital R, used should be between 10 and 15 nautical mile. In order to avoid the use of subsector of too small a size, the width of the buffer area between the subsectors remain 5 nautical mile. 